Philip Carl Jablonski, born on January 3, 1946, and passing away on December 27, 2019, was a notorious American serial killer who was convicted of brutally ending the lives of five women in California and Utah between 1978 and 1991. Early years. Jablonski's upbringing was marred by the presence of his alcoholic father, who subjected his family members to physical abuse and sexual assault. During his time in high school, Jablonski crossed paths with his first wife, Alice McGowan. After enlisting in the Army in 1966, he served in the Vietnam War and subsequently married McGowan in 1968 upon his return to the United States. However, their marriage took a dark turn as Jablonski exhibited sexually violent tendencies. He engaged in disturbing acts such as suffocating McGowan with a pillow during intimate moments and even strangling her to unconsciousness on multiple occasions. Following the end of his relationship with McGowan, Jablonski became involved with Jane Sanders in November 1968. On their initial date, he committed the heinous act of raping Sanders, an incident she chose not to report. Their journey together led to pregnancy, and they relocated to California in July 1969 after Jablonski's departure from the military. An alarming incident occurred during one of their intimate encounters, where Jablonski resorted to threats and violence, displaying a gun and forcing Sanders into non-consensual acts. These traumatic experiences ultimately led Sanders to leave Jablonski in 1972. Criminal History Jablonski's criminal record began to take shape in late 1972 when he raped a female acquaintance at knife point in the presence of her infant child. His arrest and subsequent conviction marked the beginning of a disturbing trail of violence. In February 1977, Jablonski's path crossed with Linda Kimball, leading to a relationship that escalated to living together in Palm Springs by August of the same year. Kimball gave birth to their child in December 1977. A chilling encounter transpired on July 6, 1978, when Jablonski approached Kimball's mother, Isabel Pauls, with sinister intentions. Though he did not carry out his plan to assault her, Pauls managed to escape and sought refuge with a neighbor. The incident went unreported to the authorities. After this event, Kimball left Jablonski, taking their daughter to live with her mother. Tragedy struck on July 16, 1978, as Kimball was found dead inside the apartment she once shared with Jablonski. The horrifying details revealed that she had suffered beatings, stabbings, and strangulation. Jablonski was apprehended 11 days later, leading to his imprisonment for Kimball's murder. Despite serving 12 years, he was released on parole in 1990 for good behavior, although a 1985 attempt to strangle his mother with a shoelace marked a continuation of his violent tendencies. Jablonski's subsequent marriage to Carol Spadoni in 1982, initiated through a newspaper ad while he was incarcerated, brought about further tragedy. On April 23, 1991, Spadoni and her mother, Eva Peterson, were murdered in their Burlingame home. Spadoni was subjected to shooting, suffocation with duct tape, and stabbing, while Peterson endured sexual assault and a fatal gunshot wound. In a horrifying sequence of events, Jablonski faced charges related to the death of Fathima Van, a fellow student at a community college in Indio, California, on April 22, 1991. Van, a recent widow and mother of two, was found brutally murdered, with religious phrases carved into her body. Another incident on April 25, 1991, involved Jablonski brandishing a gun at Yvette Shelby, who managed to escape. In a final act of violence, he was charged with the robbery and murder of Margie Rogers on April 27, 1991. Jablonski's spree of violence came to an end when he was apprehended on April 28, 1991, in Kansas. Found guilty of his horrendous crimes, he was sentenced to death. Despite various legal proceedings, his death sentence was upheld by the California Supreme Court in January 2006. The life of Philip Carl Jablonski concluded on December 27, 2019, at the age of 73. He passed away in his cell at San Quentin State Prison, the exact cause of death remaining undisclosed.